In this presentation, we're going to talk about mean, variance, and a standard deviation of binomial probability distribution. Let's do a quick review of binomial probability distribution. For a discrete random variable x with probability p of x, the sum of all probabilities should be 1. Any probability should be between 0 and 1 inclusive. We should have fixed number of independent events. Each event can only have two outcomes. One is success and the other one is failure. And the probability of success and the probability of failure remains the same for all n independent events. Let's also look at some binomial probability distribution notations. The number of independent events or independent trials is n. The number of successes is x and these variables are discrete meaning they're countable probability of success in each one of the trials is p and probability of failure in each one of the trials is q where q is equal to 1 minus p So now, how do we find mean, variance, and a standard deviation of binomial probability distribution? So given a binomial probability distribution for n independent events with the probability of success p on each event, the mean will be mu and the formula is n times p. Variance is sigma squared and the formula is n times p times q. And a standard deviation is sigma and as usual standard deviation is always the square root of the variance. So these are the three formulas that we're going to be working with. In this example, we're given a binomial probability distribution with n equal to 30 and p equal to 0.6. We want to find mean, variance, standard deviation, and then we want to find its usual range. First, we find q. So since p is 0.6, then q is 0.4. Now we can use the formula introduced earlier to find mean, variance, and a standard deviation. Mean is n times p. So the mean for this binomial probability distribution is 18. The variance, sigma squared, is n times p times q. And the variance is 7.2. And a standard deviation is always the square root of the variance, rounded to three decimal places, we get 2.683. Now for the usual range, according to empirical rule, is mu plus or minus 2 times sigma. We have the values, we're going to put them into this formula. We're going to do the calculations. So the usual range, which is also the 95% range, is between 12.634 to 23.366. 
It is possible to round this to a nearest whole number according to you know the uh, instructions in the problem. Let's look at uh, this example, the binomial probability distribution with n equal to 100 and p equal to 0.5. We want to find mean, variance, standard deviation. Then we want to find the 68% range. Again, we find q first. Now we're going to use the formulas. Mean is n times p. So the mean for this binomial probability distribution is 50. Variance is n times p times q, so that was sigma squared. We plug in the values, and the variance is 25. And a standard deviation is always the square root of the variance. So the standard deviation is 5. Now the 68% range, according to empirical rule, is mu plus or minus 1 standard deviation. So the answer is from 45 to 55, that would be our 68% range. In this example, an online real estate school claims that 80% of the students who have completed their courses would pass the state-sponsored exam. If we randomly select 400 of their students who have completed successfully their training and course content, we want to find the mean for the number of students that finish successfully the state-sponsored exam and we want to find the standard deviation and then we want to find the usual range. So from the problem we get n equal to 400, p equal to 0.8 and q equal to 0.2. Now for the mean number of students we use the formula again and the answer is 320. For the standard deviation, we know that the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. The variance is n times p times q. I'll plug in the numbers for n, p, and q. We simplify a square root of 64, so the standard deviation is 8. And for the usual range, for the number of students that successfully pass the state-sponsored exam, we use mu plus or minus 2 times sigma. We use the values that we just found, plug them in, do the calculation, and the usual range, which is the same as the 95% range, is from 304 to 336. Okay, an airline claims that 95% of passengers with ticket actually show up for the flight. The airline overbooked a flight by selling 140 tickets for the aircraft that has 136 seats. We want to find the mean and a standard deviation for the number of passengers that have purchased tickets and actually show up for the flight. So once again we obtain that n is equal to 140, p is equal to 0.95, so q has to be 0.05. Mean will be n times p. We plug in the numbers and the mean number of passengers with ticket that show up for the flight is 133. And a standard deviation is again a square root of the variance. Variance is n times p times q. We plug in the numbers 
we do the calculation. So a standard deviation is approximately 2.579. I hope this presentation helped you understand how to find mean, variance, and a standard deviation for binomial probability distribution.